All right, who gave me a violin knowing I'm probably gonna destroy it? Spoiler, it was my mom. I guess it's good to know that I have a fallback career of making creepy music, you know, in case this whole art gig doesn't work out, but only creepy music because I, I can't do anything else. Anyways, so I here I am destroying this violin. Don't worry, my mom bought it new. I promise you I'm not destroying someone's beloved violin. My mom bought it to make it into art, but then she gave it to me to potentially make it into art. So it was always destined to be art. And from what she's told me, it was really cheap. So no sassy comments. Unless it's about the art itself, then you can be sassy. In fact, sassy comments are my favorite comments. Anyways, so I cut a bunch of holes in my violin and now I'm just making it dirty because that is my go-to finish is dirt. And behold, the violin, the dirty violin. Now let's light this sucker up because everything is better when it's lit up, except maybe a dingy dive bar. Nobody wants to see rat droppings while you're trying to enjoy your, I don't know, what do people drink anymore? Pap, Pap's blue ribbon? Shake it, not stirred. <laughs> that can't be right. Anyways, look, it's all lit, but I need to install a privacy curtain, but that fabric's way too white. So I'm gonna dirty it up with some paint, but it looks a lot like, don't drink it, Ashley. It's paint. Yes, it is in a teacup, but you know my studio is full of teacups. So I just use them to help me do my arting. Is arting a verb? Crafting? I don't know, I've never really liked the word craft, but I mean, what else would it be? Oh, did you see that? That's right, I did magic and I'm about to do it again. Sure, I am. Okay, now I have a floor my violin and of course a circle window. Did you think I was not gonna add a circle window? And look, you can actually see through it. Isn't, isn't that cute? Don't you wish you had a circle window that you could see through? Yeah, me too. But I just had boring old rectangle windows because my husband won't let me get a circle window. Anyways, so my mom gave me a bunch of her old junk along with the violin because she knows I like junk and these gears were in there. So I'm putting them on the violin. They kept wanting to fall over. I struggled with this thing so much. Finally, I just laid it down. It must've been tired, but I mean, honestly, can we blame it? I woke it up from its five year nap in my mom's closet just so I could cut holes in it and make it dirty. I mean, that that might tick me off a little bit. I might lay down on the job if someone did that to me. Not, not that I'm known for putting human emotions on inanimate objects, which reminds me, that's a hard word to say. Do not come at me in the comments. Inanimate, inanimate, inanimate object. If you watched my videos in the past, you know I have trouble with words. Actually, interesting little tidbit, in elementary school, I went to a speech therapist because I had trouble with lots of words. And I still do, as you all point out, but that's okay. Nothing a teeny tiny circle window won't solve because I'm convinced that circle windows solve all problems. I mean, I would love to test out that theory, but my husband, Jake, won't let me get a circle window. Anyways, it has come to the part of the video where I tell you what we're gonna be putting inside of our, it's not really a haunted hidey hole, because it's not really haunted, although we could make it haunted with a haunted story. How about a harmony hole? A haunted harmony hole. I guess we have to make it haunted. I can't, I can't think of any other H words that isn't haunted. All right, so inside of our haunted harmony hole, like, like I'm making a little paint bucket with a little paintbrush. <laughs> Anyways, inside of my hole, I'm making a little violin shop. So it's a violin shop in the shape of a violin. Amazing. I only shop for violins in shops and shapes of violins. <laughs> I dare you to say that 10 times fast. No, that's fine. I'll wait. Seriously, try it. Yeah, you look silly, but that's okay. We like silly. Anyway, so this is the string. I assume would come on a spindle. I don't know. But you know, the, the string for the violin stringy bits. And then we got to cut the string with something. So I made these teeny tiny scissors. Uh, adorable. Okay, let's come up with a story for our violin shop. So somebody commented that when they hear me say Heidi Hole, they think that I'm saying their name because their name is Heidi, which reminds me, hi Heidi. So I kind of like that. Let's run with that name. Okay, so Heidi runs the haunted Harmony Hole. Or I guess it'd just be the Harmony Hole. Heidi's Harmony Hole, because it's technically not haunted yet. <laughs> okay, so Heidi makes the violins and her Harmony Hole is known for making the best violins. The people who play them swear that they have magical strumming powers, which makes sense because it turns out that Heidi's been using wood from a fairy's tree, like just chopping down the fairy's home. And as you can imagine, the fairies are ticked off, peeved, they're definitely upset. So they curse the wood somehow, I don't know. Can fairies curse things? I think they can, or is that pixies? Anyways, they curse the wood because fairies can't really sue people. It, it's hard for them, they're tiny, and trying to get a lawyer to represent them is a nightmare. So their only other option is to curse the wood. And obviously they don't tell Heidi. So Heidi comes waltzing in to the ancient forest, all chop happy, chopping down another tree, and makes a whole bunch of violins out of it. 
all of which are cursed. So now that her whole inventory is cursed violins, which she kind of had an idea because, you know, in TV shows, when things that are cursed, they like whisper. Yeah, she heard a lot of whispering, but that didn't stop Heidi from selling them. She had bills to pay. So she sold them all. And anybody who bought a violin and played it, they, they I, I don't know, they, they died. Okay, maybe maybe they didn't die. Oh, I know. They couldn't stop playing. That's right. They, they played until their little fingers were just bones. And of course that ruins Heidi reputation and you know Heidi's shop was getting flooded with calls of panicked mu music teachers so Heidi just disconnected her phone because she wasn't getting any customers anymore anyway nobody wants a cursed violin I mean actually some people might want a cursed violin but most people don't and then I, I guess uh, the people that got the cursed violins died <laughs> I don't know oh and and then they haunted her shop because because why not no wait because that's how it would become the haunted harmony heidi hole heidi's haunted ha the harmoning of hauntings in heidi's hole oh yeah i nailed that story <laughs> i can't i can't even say that with a straight face i think that was my worst story yet anyways uh back to the art so i guess i added a checker pattern because i felt like it was missing something and these stripey patterns because it was missing something else i don't know you know what it, it just looked cool and here we're finished and what do you guys think? It's not exactly a scary piece of art, but maybe the story made it more scary, sort of. Even though this the story was not that scary. I don't, maybe if I add the music that I made in the beginning, while you look at the art, it'll be scary. Hold on, hold on, let's try. Ready? Oh yeah, I, I think that helped. Anyway, it's just a reminder that there's a bunch of people stealing my content for Facebook, but you can get to my real account through my link tree. So check it out. Okay, thanks, bye.